When we load the data into the database tables, we might use nulls to represent nothing. Null have a special meaning in databases, it represents nothing and it is different from empty string or zero if it is an integer type. Let us understand how to handle nulls using specific functions in Spark SQL. By default, if you try to add or concatenate null to another column or expression or literal, it will return null. You can actually run these as examples and you see both of these are actually written nulls. So I am trying to add null to one, it returns null. I am trying to concatenate null to hello, it also returns null. Now, if you want to replace null with some default value, we can use nvl. For not null values, nvl returns the original expression value. Examples are replace commission percentage with a zero if it is null. We can also use coalesce in the place of nvl. The difference between coalesce and nvl is coalesce returns first not null value if we pass multiple arguments to it. So coalesce takes more than two arguments and it returns the first not null value. NVL takes only two arguments. If the expression is uh, not null, it will return the expression itself. If it is null, it will return the second argument that is passed to NVL. NVL2 can be used to perform one action when the value is not null and some other action when the value is null. For example, we want to increase commission percentage by one if it is not null and set commission percent to two if it is null. We can also use case when uh, else and the end for any conditional logic. We will see that at a later point in time. So in case of outdated versions, if any of these functions are not working, you can always fall back onto the case when they are typically supported from the base version of any database. With respect to Hive and Spark SQL, case when else end is supported from the beginning. Whereas NVL, NVL2 coalesce are added at a later point in time. Now let's scroll down here and let's see examples with the literals. So in this case, as our first expressions are not nulls, both NVL and coalesce will return the first expression value which is nothing but 1 and 1. However, in this case, I am using null as first argument to NVL whereas for coalesce, I am passing a not null value. So this will return 0 and 1. Now when it comes to coalesce, it can take multiple arguments like this and uh, it will return the first not null value which is 2 in this case. You can see here. When it comes to NVL, it takes only two arguments. If you try to pass more than two arguments, it will just fail saying that invalid number of arguments for function NVL. Now let's connect to our IT versity retail database. If the table exists, let's drop it. Once the table is dropped, we can create this table with the three columns, sales person ID, sales amount and commission percentage. Inserting five records into it, where two records contain commission percentage as nulls. You can review the results by running this select star from sales. You can see that for salesperson ID 3, the commission percentage is null. Same is the case with salesperson ID 5. Now, to replace these nulls with zeros while querying the data, I can use NVL like this. So in this case, the commission percentage will be zero for both salesperson ID 3 and salesperson ID 5. You can also use coalesce like this and you should be able to get zeros. You can uh, Try to run this and when it comes to the commission amount for salesperson ID and 3 and 5, it will be null. It will not be 0. Ideally, we want to see 0 if there is no commission percentage is set to specific users where we are trying to compute the commission amount. Now to fix this issue, in place of commission percentage here, I can either use NVL or coalesce like this. Specify the commission percentage column like this as first argument to these functions and then 0 as second argument. Now if you run this, you will see zeros for commission amount for both salesperson ID 3 as well as 5. Both coalesce and NVL behave in the same manner for this simple example. When it comes to NVL2, it takes three arguments. The first argument is typically the column value or expression which can be null or not null. The second argument is the action that needs to be performed when the first argument is not null. And the third argument is the action that needs to be performed when the first argument is null. So in this case, if the commission percentage is not null, then we are trying to increase by one. If it is null, we are trying to set it to two. two. Now, if we run this, the commission percentage for salesperson ID three and five is set to two. For all the other salespersons, the commission percentage is increased by one. Now using this, if you want to compute the commission amount, this is how the logic will look like. So round off sales times NVL2 of commission percentage comma commission percentage plus one comma two. So this will actually determine the commission percentage which will be multiplied by sales amount and then it will be divided by 100 and the output will be rounded off to two decimals and you can see the commission amount here. So for salesperson ID for $500 sales amount, 
the commission amount is ten dollars, which is two percent. Same is the case with the salesperson ID. The commission amount is is five dollars, which is two percent of two fifty. For rest, whatever is the commission percentage that is computed after increasing by one based on that commission amount is determined. In Spark SQL or any of the typical SQL, we can actually use case when for any conditional logic. We'll talk about case when in detail as part of next topic. Let's understand how we can solve this problem related to nulls using case and when. So if you are using case and when, this is how it will look like. You just have to say case when commission percentage is null. In this case, we are trying to set it to two. So I have hard coded two here. Else I am writing the original commission percentage plus one. You can run this, and you should be able to see the commission percentage as we are expecting. So for sales person ID three and five, it is two. For others, it is increased by one. You can also use this approach. I have reversed here because as part of the case when the condition says commission percentage is not null. If it is not null, I want to increase by one. That is what is going on here. Else, I am writing two. This also works without any issue. Now, if you want to compute commission amount using this approach, this is the solution. In this case, you have to understand the impact of board mass rules. So, I am directly incrementing uh, or increasing commission percentage by one, and hence I have to enclose in circle brackets. Otherwise, sales amount will be multiplied by commission percentage first, and then will be added to one, which is not correct. This is the correct one. So you have to include this commission percentage plus one as part of the brackets like this, and you should be able to compute the commission amount as per our requirement. When the commission percentage is null, I just want to multiply the sales amount with two, then divide by hundred. If it is not null, I just want to increment commission percentage by one, and then multiply with sales amount to get the commission amount. So this is how the logic will look like if you use case when. Don't worry too much about the syntax of case when at this time. We'll be talking about case when a bit in detail as part of the next topic. Then it will make sense even if there are any gaps. However, here the focus is primarily to deal with nulls using functions like nvl and nvl2 as well as coalesce in place of nvl. For any reason, if these functions are not working, you can always fall back onto the case when and solve these problems.